Today, I'm here in New London to see if all of my distance practice I've been doing will translate to beating my best score ever on one of the hardest courses ever made. Wait, did you just say what is New London? <sighs> have you been living under a rock? I'm gonna have to go get that. <laughs> New London is a course here in Lynchburg, Virginia, designed by Paul Macbeth himself. And it is world's hardest course in 2024, that is. If you shoot even par at this course, it's over a thousand rated. In fact, I think it's like 1,025 rated, par 68. This course ain't no joke. And you can check this out on UDIS, but over 11,000 feet total, which is quite ridiculous. Now me, what's my goal here today? My goal is to beat my personal record 15 over. And I've played this course a bunch of times too. This isn't just like I've played it a few times. I live six minutes away. So with my newfound distance, and my drive to beat this score today, we're about to see if I can finally crush my record here at New London. Or would I trade all my distance gains that I've gotten over the past couple months just for more accuracy? <laughs> this video is gonna be the deciding factor. <laughs> I don't know. So my goal today is going to be to absolutely obliterate my course record with confidence and distance those two things right there. And if that doesn't happen, well, if that doesn't happen, we're gonna have to reevaluate some things with my disc golf game. So without further ado, let's get this round started. I was just thinking maybe I should, maybe I should have warmed up. Nah. Get down, get down, get down. That might be OB. Jump putt for bogey, no biggie. Oh! I took world's biggest kick into the woods. So I'm, I'm sorry, spider web. And get out to the fairway. Should be good. No, I hate straddles, so I hate straddles. <laughs> oh! All right, bogey's not too bad there. Oh. 
Okay, guys, made it to hole, made it to hole number six. So far, thumbs up. Uh, really nothing special, but nothing horrific. You know, at this rate, should be able to make 18 over. I forgot to record, but I was here and I threw the shot like 150 feet, hit a tree, and then kicked onto the pathway. I'm not throwing that again. You silly. I heard something. So, so I think a lot of you guys probably are thinking, uh, Mikey, how are you feeling after getting a, an 11 on the last hole? Uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Still feel like I can do this and we ain't giving up, baby. Ain't no way. That's OB. Well, guys, miracle of miracles. I ended up across the bridge. That right there is my shot. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. That'll play. That's fine, par is basically a birdie. Fifteen over. Fifteen over through hole eight. What did it all mean? What was I to do? Wait. I should call Paul Macbeth? Yes, that's what I'll do and wait. Could it be? Hello? Paul, is that you? Yep, I have a higher voice, and oh. I sound like this now. Okay, here's the situation. I'm 15 over through hole nine in New London, and my best score at New London is 15 over. What advice do you have for me, Paul? <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at something else. It wasn't you. Okay. No, let me ask him. This is a good question for him. What's up, Mikey? Here's the scenario. I'm here at hole nine. I'm 15 over at New London. My best score at New London ever is 15 over. What advice do you have for me right now? Walk off. Just go home. 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 Just go home.
So I did. And as I walked, I contemplated. What did he mean? Wait. Wait, what? What's going on? Why is my squatch bag doing this? Sparky! You're alive! Oh, Sparky! W what are you doing? You're... You're flying! Sparky... No, surely not... Ace! He aced! He did it all on his own! Was this... What, what is this? No! Off to the next hole? Surely not! I must be dreaming! He flings himself off the next D-pad into the basket again! Oh, oh wow! All by himself with no outside forces! No intervention! He, he, he takes off again! Rolling down the pathways, he picks himself up just to fly. Fly away to the next heap bed. I'm in utter shock, utter amazement at this point. I. Oh! He's waving! He's waving! No way! This is incredible! I. I feel a sense of anxiety and. and joy. and peace and tranquility and fear. Are all my hopes and dreams. Uh, no! No, please! Oh, goodness gracious! Don't do that to me, Sparky. All by himself once again, with no outside forces involved, he plans himself, coming to a full rest in the chains. For the next ace, and onward he went! Wow, what does this mean? I, it's hard to even really let it all sink in at this point. Another ace! Okay, so, so far we have many aces and what, what, what is this? It's me? Wait, this whole time, did Paul give me the power? But telekinesis? Yes, it is true. So I aced hole 13 and 14 and then after 15, of course, I assume, yes, I'm going to ace that one as well. Why not? With the power of telekinesis, I was off the hole. 16. Ace that one too, and... Then, I started thinking about what Paul said as we approached hole 18. I... We've... Made it. And... I didn't... Wait, just go home. Wait, just go home. I, I didn't realize. Paul, he's been leading me to hole 18 this whole time. I, I don't know what to say, S Sparky. Did you know? Did you know we were going home? Sparky. As chills roll off of my fingertips, I can't help but think how this whole time it was all here. Hole 18. Just waiting for us to come home. And as Sparky placed himself in the basket, it just made sense that this would be the end. That there would be no more traveling. This was our home. And as I reflected on Paul's words, 
I could not but feel a sense of relief that this whole time he led us to Hole 18. Thank you, Paul Macbeth.